Welcome to my channel guys. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you! Welcome to my channel guys. Uh, good evening and good morning to all of you who's watching this uh, vlog. Uh, today, I want to share to you on how to download your uh, vaccine certificate. So, as you all know, uh, our Department of Health and even the Philippines is requiring everyone to have this vaccination certificate, uh, especially for those uh, who will travel abroad. So, they are really required to have this. So, for those who don't know how to download this, so I will show you the step-by-step -step procedures. It will just take like um, less than five minutes for you to have this vac uh, vaccine certificate so if you will go and you will look for this website so you have to put vaccert.doh.gov.ph or vaccert.doh.gov.ph and you will see this platform where you are requesting to continue and to write some details about your vaccination record so for now, you will just click continue and as you can see here, please review and accept the data privacy statement by ticking the box. Make sure you have your vaccination card and any government issued ID with you before clicking continue. Of course, you should have your vac uh, vaccination card before because you need to put the dates that you have during your vaccination. So you will copy those details. So. Yeah, you have to tick this, I have read and agreed to the privacy statement. So you can also click this if you want to read the privacy statement. And then you continue. And you will ask here, you will be asked here like before uh, proceeding, please answer these questions. Were you vaccinated more than 48 hours ago for any of your doses? So meaning to say you should have your vaccination after 48 hours. Otherwise, your record will not be reflected here on their system. So, if you're just vaccinated 24 hours ago, you will not able to see your record. So, make sure you were vaccinated more than 48 hours or more than 2 days ago. And then you click next. Okay, it's logging. So, we just have to wait a little bit. You will choose here where you vaccinated more than 48 hours ago for any of your doses. So you click yes and then okay. Then you click next. And then here, you will put your details from your vaccination card. So as an example, I will use my record. Okay, I will put my... You will be asked to write your last name or your surname. And then next, your first name or your given name. Make sure to write it properly. Okay, and the middle name is not really required because some of the people, they don't have the middle name. But if you want to put it, you can just write it if you want. And suffix, if you have the junior, the senior, the first, second, third, or fourth. Okay? But if you don't have, no need to write anything on that blank space. Okay? And then for your birth date, as you can see here, the pattern should be month, date, and year. So here I will write first the month and then the day which is 26 and my birth year which is 1990 and you click next. And here again enter your vaccination details. Please leave the fields for the other dose block if you are only partially vaccinated. But since you are or I am fully vaccinated so I will put all the details here. And here as you can see please tick if your vaccine brand is Johnson & Johnson. So my brand is Moderna, so I don't need to click this part. What I need to do now is where did you have your first dose vaccination? Which city or municipality? So I can choose or search from here. Okay, you can scroll down, okay guys. But you can also search. So it will appear here. So as fast as that. And then date of your uh, first dose. So, the pattern again is month, date, and year. So, my first dose was um, October 22, of course, 2021. And where did you have your second dose vaccination? Okay, of course, it's the same place. 
not unless you go to another place but mine is the same location which is city of Dasmariñas and the date of my second dose vaccination which is November 19, 2021 and finally you will click this, this, this green part verify vaccination information so we will see if I have the record already since it's been uh, one month, almost one month since my last vaccination so probably my record should be here okay so now let's click the verify vaccination information you can see here please review the details you entered and click continue button if you wish to proceed so you have to check your details maybe you have some typo error so before submission at least you can change it you can go back there is a go back option here but since this is correct so I can click continue and lastly, please enter the seven characters shown below and type exactly what you see in the screen. So you will just need to copy those letters and numbers. So J E four S N capital C capital Y. Okay. And then okay. Let's see if I have the record. Yes, as you can see here, it says record found. Okay. If your details below are correct, click Generate Vaccination Certificate. If you wish to update your details, click Update Record to submit a request. So, if there is some typo errors with your record, so you can still ask or request for correction or to update your record. And then you can generate your vaccination certificate later on. So, as you can see here, I have the exact record as I have with my vaccination card. So... In this part, you can see, please tick if you intend to use this certificate for travel abroad purposes and enter your passport number in the field. But since I am not traveling abroad, so I think I don't need to type it. But if I want to, I can also type it. So, let's check here. As you can see here, my passport number just there because I had it before and I generated this box certificate before. So, for double purposes, so it's better if I will click the certificate for travel purposes. And then, last part, this green part, generate vaccination certificate. Okay. Let's click that. Okay. And then now, we're done. As you can see here, we have the copy of our vaccination certificate. Then you have the certificate ID number here. And then, um, the date of your vaccination. Uh, the brand and manufacturer, lot number. And of course, the country of vaccination. Why instead of your city, why is it uh, Philippines? Because remember, I put my passport number here because this is for travel uh, purposes abroad. So they put here the Philippines. Okay, so how am I going to get this? Of course, I need to download this vaccination certificate. Okay, download. And you will see here on this part. So, and then I will check it in my folder. Uh, you can also do this with your mobile phone. Uh, this one, I'm using my laptop or my desktop. So, okay guys, we're done already. So, since I have my laptop with me, so as you can see, the screen is different from your mobile phone. But it's okay, okay? Because you can still generate your vaccination certificate. As long as you will follow the step-by-step -step procedures from the beginning up to the end. So, and another thing that you need to be aware of is that a vaccination certificate is for free. So, no one should ask you to pay for this vaccination certificate. So, maybe someone will ask you some payment because they assist you or they help you. Maybe it's okay, but uh, just for you to know, it's for free, okay? And also our government or local government unit, they also put up some specific areas inside the mall and some kiosks where people can go and request for vaccination certificate as well. So for those who don't know how to do it, there's no computer, there's no laptop or mobile phone. Just simply go inside the mall where all these kiosks or specific areas are uh, provided by the government so you can request for your vaccination certificate. And don't forget to bring your vaccination card for your reference so again thank you very much for watching i hope you learned something from this video and if you have some queries or question i am more than willing to answer it just leave your comment below from this uh vlog and i am more than willing to answer your questions and thank you very much and have a good day